Kush has three siblings, Anya, Adi, Abhay. Meet his mother, Monika Singh Manhas, his friend Charlie, and here come his father Vivek Singh. But where is Kush? When he had his seizures time, I have never seen seizures before. And uh, when he had his first seizure, it was like he was turning blue and not breathing for two minutes. He was put on on the um, steroids for say two weeks, but he ended up being on them for eight months. Yeah, I know. It's just uh, no because the instructors choose what we're gonna do. Right off. He cannot control his muscles, so I mean, if he's going to sleep and he's in sleeping mode, and if you just touch him, it's just make him awake. So, and then he'll try, but he'll overexert, and then he cannot sleep. So, what we have to do is we have to hold his hands straight and legs pressed so that his body's not moving, he can concentrate on sleeping. So, it's a bit the other way around, not like normal children, mm -hmm. like how we put Lori and they sleep or we put any nursery rhymes or anything and they just lullabies and they just sleep. That's not the case with Kush. With, the, the, with kids, like kids are supposed to be happy kids, like they just want to play around and everything. So he wasn't able to do all of that, like it was staying a lot of time in the hospital, which was hard. Um, and we were in the hospital for like lots of time. Right? I you, think don't from, want to, you don't want to. From his there. first birthday to second birthday, we were in hospital for more than six months. Yeah, six, right, more right. than six months. So we came home, we came hospital, something like that. For that time, say that was our second home. And that we was spent so much time in hospital. That was his toughest time. Yeah, that was his hardest time. After that, as well, like he's like um, he's stabilized a little bit now. Like his seizures are under control and everything. He uh, is better. He's slightly like he's he's still not able to like run around like other kids, which but he's not in the hospital that much, so which is good. We got a diagnosis yeah. in 2015 March. Uh, we got a call from hospital and doctor. Uh, his neurologist said like you know we have found what you were looking for, and we were called in the um, hospital and we went there and he sold. he's got Fox G1 and I'm like okay now we know he has got Fox G1 but we don't know what it is and you know we just went online and there was not much about Fox G1 and then we came across an US Facebook page and that's how we connected to the parents there is another found Fox G1 foundation in US as well and like uh, Fabian, I uh, Fabian at USW, he's already started research at USW, yeah. which is a big thing. And we just hope that we know the, the cure might be 10 years out, but like if in the next 2-3 years we reach to a clinical trial stage or if we reach to some trials, some successes, it'll be a big thing for us. And he'll be the reason to get a cure for Fox one so his, his purpose in life is to find a cure for Fox one for other kids. So like if that works, then I think it's very lucky he, he's... Uh, He'll be somebody who'll make a difference in the world. Uh, although he can't do much, but he's like, like for the Jeans for Jeans campaign, he's trying to help them, those people as well. He's trying to, uh, we, we try to make sure that whatever, wherever, whatever he can do, he, we take him everywhere, he goes everywhere, he does everything. He just wants to do everything like the other kids, but he needs a lot more help. And like once we get the gene therapy, it'll be, it'll be fantastic.